Most people probably think of sperm as the microscopic tadpole-like things wriggling around in human semen. But there is an astonishing amount of diversity in the size, shape, and number of sperm produced by male animals. In fact, despite performing the very same function in all animal species, i.e. fertilizing eggs, sperm are the most diverse cells found among animals. This diversity is a product of evolution. Every animal's sperm has evolved to meet the needs of the individual animal that produces it. For example, research shows that the number and size of sperm produced by a mammal depends on the size of the female reproductive tract. For example, humans produce approximately 100 million sperm per ejaculate, while rams can produce 100 billion. Sperm length also varies enormously across species, from the tiny sperm of the porcupine, 3 micrometers, to the gigantic sperm of the fruit fly, 6 centimeters, which is more than 20 times the length of the fly. The fruit fly's sperm looks like a wound-up ball of string that unravels once inside the female's even longer reproductive tract. Much of the variation we see in the size, shape, and number of sperm produced by different species is thought to be the product of competition for fertilization among the sperm of different males. This is a type of sexual selection known as sperm competition. In species whose females mate most promiscuously, there is strong pressure on males to invest more heavily in sperm to ensure that one of their own little soldiers is the one that wins the battle for fertilization. This has led to an extraordinary array of different warfare tactics. These species, in general, produce more sperm as more soldiers on the ground give you a numerical advantage. It may also be advantageous to produce bigger sperm, which are faster and able to outcompete the sperm of other males in the race to the eggs. Sperm can also vary depending on the size and shape of the female body. To accommodate this, Sperm have to be able to swim far and fast enough to successfully reach the eggs. In general, bigger sperm swim faster, so males should produce numerous large sperm. But males only have finite resources to allocate to sperm production and may face trade-offs. This means that evolutionary pressure to increase sperm size will inevitably lead to a reduction in number and vice versa. As mentioned, recent research found that among mammals, males of smaller-bodied species tend to invest in fewer, larger sperm, while males of larger species tend to invest in more, smaller sperm. This is because the females of larger species have bigger reproductive tracts, and so more but smaller sperm can spread across the greater space and have more chance of encountering an egg. As sperm can be costly for the body to produce and resources are limited, males can also face trade-offs between producing sperm and other characteristics useful for reproduction. For example, species in which males invest more in big bodies and horns or deep voices have been shown to produce less sperm. In humans, men with more attractive voices have been shown to have worse quality sperm. It seems that males are faced with a trade-off between investing in traits that are useful for competing with rivals or those that increase the chance of fertilizing an egg. They can't have everything. Female animals who mate with more than one partner are also thought to have some control over the sperm that fertilizes their eggs. So-called cryptic female choice occurs when females use physical or chemical mechanisms to control each male's chances of fertilization. This is well described in a number of animal species, providing a mechanism by which females can bias the outcome of reproduction. For example, in some species, females will mate with several males and then selectively fertilize eggs with only the largest sperm or sperm from males with more compatible immune system genes.